Welcome to the Quick Flix video series for using generations. I'm Lindy Goodall of Lindy G Embroidery and in this video we'll be using some building blocks in the Christmas Elements collection to create a holiday design. With building blocks you can easily create your own designs without ever having to digitize a stitch. So start by downloading and installing the Christmas Elements building blocks which you see down here at the bottom of the screen. If you need help with installing building blocks that's covered in another video. Let's create a new document and we'll rebuild this design. So start by creating a new document and we'll drag our round ornament out onto the desktop. Generate. Now we'll add some pine boughs. We'll just drag one out, get it kind of positioned where we want it, copy, and now I'm going to rotate this one, move that in, and then I'll paste. Now see when I paste it, it's pasting my original one. So I can pivot that one a little bit. Paste again. And rotate that one. And let's resize this one a bit. We can resize this one a little, make it a little bit smaller. And it doesn't matter that they overlap because this is very light density. It's not going to ca cause a bulk issue. So I'm going to left click off. Then I'm going to drag a selection around just the greenery, making sure I have all the greenery selected and not the other parts. When you select in generations, it has to be fully enclosed within the selection marquee. So even though I overlapped these parts, it didn't pick them up because I didn't fully enclose them. So click group. Now we're going to copy, paste, and rotate across the vertical axis. Move that into position. And let's drag out a bow. And look how quickly we made a cute little holiday ornament. So that's how easy it is to work with building blocks. You don't have to digitize anything. You are just combining things on the screen. Now other things you could combine, well, we have this little ornament or this little package and we can put a bow on that. We could put, use this bell and we could um, combine that with some other things. We have a couple of ornaments that we could use here. Maybe we don't want to use that ornament. We would prefer to use this ornament. And let's scale that guy up a bit. generate because we scaled. And that's how easy it is. If we wanted this package to be smaller, we can select that, group it, shrink it down that way, generate, or we can ungroup it, move the bow off, and stretch it. See how fun this is? This is one of the benefits of using generations. Just because it's a digitizing program doesn't mean you always have to digitize in it. If you can find designs in your native format, which is gen for native generations files or MNG for the building blocks, you can do all sorts of things very easily. Let's um, get rid of this. And ooh, let's do a couple undos here, actually. See if we can undo back to our original ornament. There we go. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. And now, let's group this whole design. And we would need to save it to keep it. So we can save it as a gen file with just file save. Or we can save it as a building block. Let's do that. We'll go to Accessories, Building Block, Save Building Block. And here you see all the building block folders. Now Generations is kind of strange. It sorts things in reverse alphabetical order in a lot of the lists that are within the program. And here's one of them. So if I want to store it with my other Christmas designs, I need to find um, LG10, give it a name, 
it will default to the first name in the list. If you don't change the name, you could overwrite your file. It'll warn you, but it's easy to overwrite. So we'll just call it Holiday Orn 1. Now it doesn't show up initially in our list because we need to refresh. So we'll just click another one and click back. And there you see our holiday ornament right there. If I want to sew it, I need to export for my sewing machine. And there you go. That's just how easy it is. There are quite a few other designs in this collection that can be used standalone or combined. Some of them make great monogramming frames. So for example, this one, this one, and this one, to generate. have openings in them. So these would make great monogramming frames. And once again, we could save them individually. I will warn you that when you save a building block or a monogramming background, it saves everything that's on the screen. So make sure you only have what you want when you want to create a monogram frame. And we'll look at monogram frames in another video.